Hey everybody, this is Terry. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, we're going to be doing a little install today on something I saw online, thought it was cool. And you know, that's how we get most of this stuff. I just, I just see it, think it's cool, and then uh, go from there. So uh, I wasn't familiar with this company. Uh, most of you know I'm new to side -by sides and uh, the Talon's the first one we've had. So uh, it's a learning process for me, and hopefully you're learning something too while I'm doing these videos. But uh, uh, Brute Performance, uh, company out of Tennessee uh, I saw this I, I've, I've been a member of quite a few groups on Facebook and not just talent groups but I saw this in the KRX group and uh, it's a footrest as many of you know the talent has been prone especially when they're super new um, for the really touchy throttle and uh, I, I promise you uh, ours got a couple hundred miles on it now and uh, it, it's much better now than it was one way or the other but the whole, part of the problem or the main problem to it is um, now is just the, the floor is kind of slick and, it, and it's it's just hard to keep your foot uh, still on the thing so this should help with that uh, super simple deal like I said it's it's adjustable uh, you can see there you can adjust it out we're gonna try to get it in the right spot the first time so we don't have to adjust it but but uh, holes to keep it still and then in an adjustment hole Super simple install, just a couple of uh, stainless stainless screws. Um, there is a spacer um, in here. We'll show you how that works here in just a second. Like I said, it couldn't almost couldn't be any simpler install. But we'll show you how that works because the floor is not flat where this thing's got to go. So this is a little spacer to, to make this thing work well. Now basically, we're going to we're going to drill a pilot hole. Uh, probably don't even need to, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, there's no instructions with a thing from Brute, so th this is this is my instructions, not theirs. So uh, I'm just going to drill eighth-inch pilot holes uh, for the two screws and run them in with my trusty quarter-inch impact with a three-eighths bit in there. So uh, let me reset and uh, we'll check it out and install the Brute Performance footrest. All right, as you can see, it's an interesting spot to try to get. Uh, to get light and to get a shot here but we'll we'll, we'll give it a go so uh, see what we got I've already drilled my holes I'm gonna mount this as far forward as it'll go and uh, I'm six foot tall so I want it to go as far forward as it'll go I said I've already drilled my holes here and you can see that little spacer down there and that's that's where that needs to go these ribs make this part a little bit taller than that part so let me uh, I'm, I'm gonna run these screws in here off camera and then uh, once I get back, we'll uh, we'll see how it is. And like I said, that's that's really the only thing I wanted to show is where that spacer goes. And uh, for me, I just put it all the way forward. Uh, you can see that the shape of the of the footrest fits the shape of the uh, floorboard. And I, I feel like for most of us, that's where it's going to want to be is is pretty much all the way forward. So let's uh, let's get it bolted in there, and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. We have. Uh, installed our footrest and uh, I, I like it um, I, I like it a lot I think it's gonna be I mean it's just a cool really super simple thing and and uh, I, I've seen the people you know even put blocks of wood or whatever down there and and uh, all that works but obviously this is made for it and uh, and, and looks factory so let me uh, I'm gonna jump in there and uh, show you how it fits all right, you can see that uh, so I, I'm, I'm six foot tall and uh, like I said I have it mounted pretty much all the way forward to where it could be. Just a really nice place to rest your foot. All kind of different angles here that you could do but um, I, it just to me seems like it's really going to steady the throttle and, and make this uh, make this way better for throttle control for sure. So I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, we'll see you next time.